Well, hello. Hello, people. So, oh, sorry, I'm just finishing up the last couple bites of my dinner. Mm. I literally just made some fucking chicken to die for. So what I did was this morning, I marinated chicken thighs out of the bone with lemon. Um, hey, hey everyone. Um, with lemon, concentrated lemon juice, some thyme and uh, a little bit of sriracha and then I just lightly fried it with a little bit of um, avocado oil uh, in my frying pan and then made some rice and put a little bit of coconut butter in it oh my god I was so fucking hungry okay what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go through my settings really quick here you can always go back and see what they're doing, what I'm doing after the fact. Uh, you don't need to see that. I think I have to get in the game. But we're going to go to the workbench really quickly so you can see the, the, the quad that I have set up. So I'm using this little guy. Obsession 5 in select now the one thing that I've changed is I changed the battery because it came with a 6s battery so camera angles at 10 degrees okay and I switched it to this air Darko race back 5s and I made it 800 milliwatt hours, okay? The reason why I did this is because it gives me the speed and the weight that I like, okay? With the success, it was going, it was like too, it would go through the atmosphere too much. Like the mass was just too big. So with this battery, this is, this is the biggest thing for me to get the physics feeling right. Um, turn up my controller. So we're gonna go f free flight. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about these maps in a second. Okay, I'm done. I swear. <clears throat> We're gonna play the green. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to switch out of Velocidrones was because it felt good, but the maps kinda sucked and like the graphics weren't all there and all that stuff. I feel okay. We gotta go in here to show you guys. Okay, so this is the uh, all my settings that I have. I think I only bumped P, pitch, P and D just a little bit. And these are my rates, but this is obviously all subjective and my expo. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I also don't know how my computer and the streaming is going to take it. So let's just fly around a little bit and I'll watch my feed. Sorry, my, my feed lags 
a, a little bit. Oh, there I am. Let's just invert through there. And... So I'm just watching my feed now to see how it looks. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once here. I fucked around with it for a little bit uh, today. And guess what? I got to fly today. How fucking exciting is that? It was just in my backyard. I did one of these. I did one split S. And that's about it. Other than that, it was just all like hitting lines and hitting gaps and stuff. No freestyle. How... How is it? I need... I need some input, guys. D does it look smooth? Okay. So, also... This. We're gonna do this. Because I don't know... So, in my game graphics, I have the motion blur on. So, I'm just watching back on my on my live feed that's delayed. And, man, it looks good. But I don't know if it's going to be, like, distracting. So, we're going to take it off and we're going to try with this. And we're going to... We're going to... I, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Okay, so I just turned off the smoothing. So, or the motion blur. So, does it look better now for just viewing like someone playing The Sim? I'm sure there's going to be like little tweaks that I do. Like the sticks feel really good right now. But I'll I'll notice stuff when I'm flying that that could be better maybe. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should do motion blur or no motion blur? With no motion blur, it's it's just not going to be as fuzzy. You know, when I'm moving around like this, you'll be able to see before was better. Okay, let's get a couple opinions here. Like, I think it looks better, but it doesn't look like a true, like, sim FPV feed. It looks like feed. It looks like, like DVR footage, or er, sorry, HD footage. Motion blur looks good too, but this is better. What are your rates in your camera angle? My camera angle's at 10, but listen guys, I just literally, if you back it up a little bit, you're gonna see everything. It looks blocky. Okay, mm, what's my CPU usage at here? see okay sorry bear with me and then we're gonna get why get to why I switched over let me just see what my CPU is doing my GPU so I can I can run this a little bit higher so let's do that okay just bear with me here I'm gonna set up my output to be max quality and let's do 8,000 gigabytes. Apply OK. Okay, that's that. Um, and then if it's blocky, I might have to... Yeah, like this thing's just... My computer just crushes this fucking game. I, I my CPU is at 34%. My GPU is at 
41. And I got this thing running like the best graphics you can get. So the pixelation, it's it's more on the streaming side of things, guys. Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at the... One thing I don't like, because I'm running... Look at my graphics. My graphics are at... Like... That's fucking high resolution. So even though I'm stretching it out a little bit, it that's high. That's super high. So the pixelation I think is more um is more just the the software cuz it's not pixelated on my screen at all. Anyways, okay, um, so this or mo motion blur, that's that's the one thing I gotta figure out. Let me just change that over. Roland Burroughs was before better as in motion blur, the motion blur was better. Sorry, I'm like... Mm, no, my bandwidth's really good. It says I have an excellent connection. And... I should have at least 150 megabytes free. For this stream. I think it's just blocky because it's fucking streaming through... YouTube. Sorry, we'll get we'll get to some more like tricks and like playing the sim in a second. I'm just uh Yeah, the bitrate setting is as high as it can pretty much go, guys. Um I'm at eight thousand, so eight bit or eight megabytes. But let's just see. Let's bump that bitch up and see if we can make it go. A little bit higher. Let's try 12,000. Max quality. Yeah, so like you should be getting what I'm seeing here. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to quickly switch back to motion blur. Wap, 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 wap. I go fuck the motion blur just looks really good. So I downloaded Steam again. Well, now look at my shit is choppy as fuck. So why is it? Why is it choppy? Sorry guys, I'm just watching my feed of what I was just doing. I don't know. I don't know guys. Um, I think from like a viewer standpoint, I think the motion blur looks does look pretty good. Um, we're, we're gonna keep it on that for now. 
what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll I'll rewatch the footage and just make the ju the judgment call, the executive decision. So I switched to this. Well, no, I downloaded Steam because I needed to figure out how DCS world worked and figure just some shit out. And I noticed I was like, hey, liftoff is there. Um, see, now it looks like it's dropping frames. Hmm, so see, the stream bitrate, it was only at 10. So I need to knock that back down to nine. YouTube was barking at me saying that the bit rate was too high. Um. No, there's there's motion blur on my feed like I see the motion blur but you're right yes there's no motion blur on FBV feed I'm just trying to make this a little bit more appealing for you guys you know um, you know like I don't I don't I also don't fly 16 by 9 but I'm not gonna bore you guys with 4 by 3 and I also made it a little bit more fisheye. Okay, now we're gonna take off motion blur, and then I think that's how we're gonna do it. And then I'll tell you the whole story of how this became. But I'm gonna keep on flying a little bit smooth. Just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me, just breathe. Breathe, you know? Check out the scenery of this make-believe golf course while I fly slowly through it. Yeah, I think the no motion blur is the way to go. So I was looking up like what I needed for DCS World. I'm like looking into headsets and all this other jazz. And so I download Steam, log into my account. I haven't logged into it since I like played Liftoff for the first time. And notice I still have Liftoff on my account. So I was like, cool. Um, but then I was like, yeah, I'll download DRL because they seem like they put a lot of um, research and and stuff into their sim so yesterday I played see now why is it fucking choppy like fuck you why can't why can't shit just work properly man it's how is it dropping frames on on the stream when it says it's excellent connection? Is it because my bitrate is still too fucking high? Oh no, I, I do my bitrate here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop it back down. You're gonna have to live with the fucking pixelation, okay, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Where was I going? I'm still trying to get through like how I downloaded DRL. I downloaded DRL, I told you guys that yesterday, and it fucking flew like poo. So I knew that I had to put some more time and effort into it. But then um
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up about the stream and just and just fly and tell stories and digest my amazing chicken that I just ate. Oh, it's still like in my palate, you know. Like I'm I don't want to take a drink of water yet, so it stays there for a little bit longer. I remember liftoff back when I first started to fly sims. They they did an update and it started to fly like poo. And you couldn't like back then I don't think you were allowed to edit anything. Anyways, it's gotten way better obviously because I'm flying it now and it it, feel, it feels really really good and Velocidrones felt really really good but I still do like this the feeling of this better uh, that's the first thing second thing the maps do feel like they're a little bit more um, a little bit more detail has been put into them DRL was the same like the maps just look beautiful and um, so yeah anyways loaded it up it felt pretty good like out of the gate just the rates felt really high so I had to adjust that it took me for fucking ever to figure out how to change the camera angle in it um, and then started playing with it and spent about an hour with it and uh, yeah now here we are my only gripe is yes the maps are look better I don't like the layout of like pretty much any of the maps like I don't know what it is yeah I got a DCL feels better yeah I got a I gotta get DCL. I'm just waiting for the guy to fucking message me back. Cause he, he asked me if I wanted a free copy, so I'll try it out. Um Fuck why can't I do this trick? Just let me do the trick through the gazebo. Um Yeah went through all the maps I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fill you in on a little piece of FPV in history too the the hay bale the hay bale level was the level that I first did like the inverted power loops aka Matty flips and that's where I learned how to do that trick isn't that pretty cool I thought it was pretty cool. It like brought me down memory lane. I went to play that level and I was like, there's literally only this tree. And I used to have so much fun in that level. And there's like only that gap in that tree to fly. So then I proceeded to get out of that level, but I'm going to show you before before this ends, I'm going to show you um What, what tree it was. The very first one was landed. This fucking level is huge. Man, I wish it could just look as nice as I'm seeing it right now for you guys. Yeah, so I stopped playing lift off and I kind of wrote it off and uh, that's a nice little hump to do some knuckle hawk stuff um, but yeah I think it's it's definitely it's, it's definitely come a long way oh, that would have been a crash in real life Now 
let's see how that rolls a little bit slow a little bit slow for doing like Rubik's cubes oh yeah that's way too slow let's bump that up <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on right now with YouTube. I don't think it's this game because the maps honestly don't use up nearly as much many, uh, memory as um, as Velocidrone did. Anyways, so I did fly Joshua Barwell's house and it was kind of boring. Um, so I, I peaced out. Anyways. This was the straw bale uh, level, and these two trees right here, this is the one that I learned through. So I would spend hours doing this, right? And then once I got good at this, I went to this little one, and I did it through this one. And that's where that trick was born. I'm gonna have to get used. I'm sorry, guys. This, uh, I don't know what's going on today. And we're back. Wow. So it seems like my my studio thing OBS studios asked me to update today and I didn't uh, I think I should have anyways that thing's shitting the bed on me and it keeps on shitting the bed on me so this is probably not gonna last time not the last time it's gonna happen um, but uh, fuck you OBS and I just kept on playing because I I just need to get my my time in so um, I do like this level too because it has trees, it has this like bridge type thing to it and uh, yeah. I haven't really played with ceilings yet with 10 degrees so our new dildo rock thing that's way smaller mop 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 uh, can we knife the edge through this mm, kind of that I'm going to be able to do because we don't have any more rock guys actually let's check out oh god it's going so slow Let's go check out this building over here. This this level is called Hanover. Is that something to do with the Vanny stuff? Like Vanover? You know, Hanover? Is this like Vanny's hometown or something? Can you guys even type? Is live chat even working? I'm just I'm I'm trying to see if I can use this wall as my invert, no, my new invert wall ride wall. Yeah, it'll work. It 
falls way more natural than it did before. This is going to be it. Does this work? Right, that's perfect. I think I got everything locked in here. I'm just gonna have to find some like levels that I like playing because I, I feel like the levels look really cool but I don't like the levels and it's the same with DRL I just didn't like them like Velocidrones ha has that one like mountain level that was really cool and it like had everything that I could like practice on except for like a really cool wall ride there and uh, and then it had a really good wall ride to practice on and I still haven't found a good wall ride area where it's a long building I guess I could build it but what's back here ooh this part no no it's still not that tall This this will work right here. But see now I have this other wall that's just distracting me from what it actually should look like. You know? What about the other side of this building? Let's see, this looks good, but it's not that tall. Hmm, I got this right here. This may work. <gasps> no, go back, go back, go back, because I do not know how to get back here. Ooh. No glitch? No glitchy glitch? Wall rides definitely do feel a little bit different, and it's because I have a little bit more momentum, I find, than in Velocidrones, and that was one of my things with Velocidrones, is it, uh, okay, what area is this? Okay, so I just gotta find that building, and I can get back there. Um, I don't know if my live chat's working, by the way, but, um, It felt too floaty. Velocidrones definitely felt way too floaty. And uh, and this one doesn't. It it feels it feels like it's supposed to go where it's going and it falls when it's supposed to. And at the same time, remember when I said I did this trick and I went right back into the tree? I feel like this is more accurate for my mass when it when it goes when I launch myself, and yeah, Velocity Drones just didn't have that that drag. The drag felt just a little bit off, so that's another reason why we're picking um, lift off. Sorry, I'm not really working on stuff as much as just seeing how the physics work to see if I like the setup and like I'm just I'm just trying to f explore the sim so 
Um, yeah, this is this is only like me playing it for an hour and forty minutes, so I'm I still got a little bit to learn here. So there's that one. There, this this Hanover one. Um, this one feels pretty cool. I think maybe we have our reverb wall ride area, and it does have like some some trees and stuff too. So. Oh, let me quickly tell you about what I did for flying today. Um, of course, I, I loaded a new beta flight onto my Squirt, and then it didn't fly right. So I fixed that today. Then I did some Squirt flying in my backyard, which was so much fun. And um, also testing out some like new ND filters and I feel like I wasn't using ND filters this season yet and it's just because I've been lazy and I haven't like tried to find any or fit them onto my GoPro and stuff so I did that as well Ooh, look at this this is like the perfect fucking Knuckle hucker. Oh, we found our knuckle hucker. And a little tree to hop over to. Anyways, I should be able to have. I, I, I think I got enough footage. I only did like four or five batteries until I pumped my fucking squirt into my neighbor's cherry blossom plum tree. You know how like all the cherry blossoms are blossoming right now? So I hit the evergreen that's on my property and did the old bounce around, bounce around into his fucking yard. And I was so shook. Like, I'm like, I'm getting COVID-19 to have to rescue this drone. And I've just been so careful, like with the family and everything. And um, so I hop in the old Tesla go around the block I've never met this guy either we share a fence line we've been living here for two years and I don't, I don't know anyways his name's Paul very nice fellow caught him and his wife while they were just getting home and luckily enough I was able to um, not have to go knock on his door story I know there's another one in here that I saw um, no I think that's it man like the green Hanover and yeah that's it like the maps really stay Dink in this so like that's that's my gripe with liftoff i feel like the maps like the green's good this like there's only two levels it, it, it was the kind of the same with velocidrome too this is that like place they went at chernobyl let's let's try this one i tried this one as the very first map but let's just go back to it and revisit it um so I catch him, I'm like, hey man, do you think I can just jump in? You give me permission so I can just jump into your, um, look how beautiful this fucking map looks. Can I just jump into your backyard and grab, grab my drone really quickly? And I even explained to him, I'm like, he's a very nice guy, okay? But I, I even explained to him, like, we're being, we're taking everything very carefully. I'm so thankful that I, I caught you now, so I don't have to, um, so I didn't have to knock on your door. And, uh, is this the thing that Tommy dives down? 
Oh my god, it's fucking gnarly. Like, look at how beautiful this fucking map looks. My god. Um. Anyways. So I, 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 I go over. So there we go. I would have fucking died like the very first second I tried this. No. I don't know if diving is that good at 10 degrees. If I can keep it that straight. I feel like stuff like this in The Sim is way harder than it is in real life. Anyways, he, him and his kid, like, come right up to me when I'm in his backyard. I'm like, I know I'm in your backyard, but please just, um, I, I really just need you guys to stay back. Like, do, do you mind? Like, I, I don't want to be a dick. I know I'm in your yard right now, but can you just tell your dog to go inside? Because I don't want to have to touch your dog if there's any little droplets on your dog and... I know there's not that many studies on that, and you're gonna be like, Maddie, you're crazy, you're not educated, but I'm not fucking taking any risk. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. I am. These motherfuckers have no clue what this thing is doing. So if it can live on clothes, and if it can live on fucking um, my mail, it can live on dog's fur, okay? Dog is always all over the fucking owner, so fuck you guys, and I. Made him put the dog inside, made him stand back, got my hedge clipper things, and got the old squirt out of the tree. Crisis diverted. Then I hopped the fence as soon as possible. I felt like I held my breath the whole time. And proceeded to talk to Paul. And, uh, very nice fellow. Um... I'm happy I met him too because I've always seen him and it was just like one of those things where we share a fence line but like I'm in a, I'm in a double cul-de-sac in the burbs and uh, and there's like what one two three properties that share a fence line with me and I've never said hi to those th those three neighbors so I'm glad that I got to know him because he's a nice guy and that's my flying story but got some fucking footage from it and I just took a quick peek before we dropped into the sim and it totally looks like those ND filters are going to make a big difference in in the quality of the footage. We're going to get a lot of motion blur from it. Well. I'm going to say we're going to we're going to mess around with this for a little bit longer. Like this Paris drone festival thing, it's like you're in this net and that's it and then you can get out of the net, but then it's a boring city, the pit. Like the pit is literally a pit. That's that's all that there is there. Um, I think that the autumn. I think from here up are like the originals. These are like the original first five original maps. But I would have to say, in Bando Bando City is okay, but it, it can get boring pretty quick. I guess I could draw up my own wall ride city. Hmm. But I would have to say the funnest course now is is the greens. <sighs> oh no! Yeah, I'm just gonna have to learn this level a little bit more. It's fucking huge, so like, like where are the objects I'm gonna be flying, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I don't think that uh, the live stream chat's working, so I can talk to you, but you can't talk to back to me, so fuck you, oh, fuck you, dolphin. Can anyone guess where that's from? If anyone can type where that's from, I will give you ten dollars. And because you guys can't type, I think I'm going to win that $10. I feel like this sim is like I can just like fly it like this. And I feel like... I feel like I could just fly it like this and have fun because it looks so good, you know? my line right at the last second like I was saying before I I fly like I fly this sim like I'm flying real lines in real life so I try not to do fuck ups like that because then like ah oh, for fuck see now I'm gonna get started all the way back at the fucking I don't even know where this is Let's see if I can see. Okay, so that's where that house is. How many of these fucking houses are there? This is definitely like a good one for. Um, oh, look, there I am. Let's go buzz my face. Oh no! I literally just took my face off. Um. And like, who flies like that? You know? Like the fucking guy that's in this thing? Like wearing Levi's and a fucking Rotor Riot shirt. Who wears Rotor Riot shirts nowadays even? <laughs> um, I love you guys. Uh, oh no, that's not a hole. And there's a hole right there. Apparently not. I still hit something. What was I talking about? Ooh, what did I just do right there? Ooh, I like that. So I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Okay, if I go this way, I'm rolling away from it. Jesus, help me out here, guys. What the fuck are my sticks doing? If I'm rolling away from it, I'm also... Okay, so... If I roll away from it, let's roll into it and see what happens. It still works too, okay. So all I'm doing is rolling away from the tree, getting inverted, and then once I'm inverted, I hit the same yaw direction and it, it makes me follow the tree. That's pretty cool. Booyah, I like it, right? Give me a chocolate bar if, if I'm right. Oh yeah, fucking live stream sucks my cock. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Just gotta get him on access. Get him on access. Ooh, fuck me. 53 minutes, okay. Yeah, Bodhi's gonna be going to bed soon, so... I gotta... Uh, Get off this live stream, even though I'm liking the sim. I'm liking the sim. What happens when it's punching like that? Where do I go? Let's just go backwards on this whole fucking green. It's fair. But I don't want to go. But I don't want to go.
Oh no. Okay. I think I'm gonna edit her off there. Uh, I got fucking charge my f TX can uh, battery too. As always, everyone stay safe. Stay calm. Don't go freaking out because you haven't left your home for the last fucking three weeks. And you're going to get through this, okay? Just fucking keep your different dis distance. Don't order fucking takeout food and try to limit your... How, and try to limit how many fucking times you go to the grocery store every week. Wash your fucking hands. And just breathe, okay? Stay calm. Don't panic. See you tomorrow.